A drive to Heaton Hall in the misty suburbs of Manchester. Here's the portico of the old town hall brought here 40 years ago. And there's the house designed by James Wyatt in 1772 for the first Lord Wilton. I wish the corporation had bought the furniture too when they so wisely bought Heaton Hall from the 5th Earl in 1901. But they did the next best thing. They made it a museum of Georgian craftsmanship. Glass, for instance, like this goblet with Sunderland Bridge, a triumph in cast iron engineering engraved upon it. Here too is a wonderful collection of silver from Stuart to late Georgian times. I like this thing. It's called a taper stick. It can be used for lighting cigars and cigarettes today, but in 1780, when it was made, it was a table light. The chief rooms of the house, like this music room, are so well proportioned, they hardly need furniture to enhance them. But let's look at this organ. A two manual made by King George III's organ builder. The range of stops is well ahead of its time. Classical figures in pale greys and greens adorn its panels. Those pipes are made of pure tin to give sweetness of tone and they're gilded for display. This mahogany piano, with decorations in satin wood veneer, was made in London in Warder Street by Stoddart in 1784. I can think of no better way of enjoying the porcelain-like beauty of Heaton Hall than to the accompaniment of 18th century music. Grand Staircase. Notice the balusters and the candle stands. And these scaliola columns. The age of elegance. And now Heaton Hall is open to the public as one of Manchester's seven art galleries. It is four miles north of Manchester. <laughs>